Hey, what's good, guys? Because my name is Moose from Chicken Moose, and welcome back to another Fishing Planet video. In today's Fishing Planet video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the different retrieval methods for bass fishing. Basically, this is going to be for beginners, also for experts if you guys don't know how to do it. But yeah, I'm going to be showing you how to do the different methods when using lures for bass fishing. So, anyway, guys and girls, before I do that, remember to like button and subscribe. And yeah, let's get into the video. So the first method we have on our list is called the twitching method. To many guys and girls, this one is pretty simple and it's and it is pretty common. So what you want to do is, as you're reeling, you just want to lift up your rod. So basically, depending on what you are playing on, I'm not too sure, but I'm on Xbox. So what I do is I press the RT button, which is the real button, and then I press LT, which lifts up the rod. Now you want to time this perfectly so you can get the three dots appearing on the top right. You know, on the top right in fishing plan, it says twitching, and then you have three dots. Now those three dots determine how effective the um, method you are using is so any guys and girls what you want to do is you want to reel and then every two seconds you want to twitch the rod basically lift it up every two seconds so you want to hold on your r2 or rt button you want to hold it in and then every two seconds just lift up your rod and then release to let it go down again and you will see that you will be performing the twitching method as well so yeah basically uh, you can choose what real speed you want to use but i always prefer using number one because it allows the lure to be on the water or in the water for uh, longer periods of times now for the next method we have on our list is called the lift and drop now this one is a bit more complicated you have to use a certain lure for this uh, you have to use worms for this one so yeah you can use um like the texas rig and the drop shot setups but yeah that is a bit more complicated but anyway guys and girls let me just tell you how to do this one so anyways when you cast your lure in the water this one is going to sink you gotta let it go all the way down to the bottom you can use it on crankbaits also but uh, yeah it depends what the lures you are using so anyway guys and girls with this one you want to let it drop all the way to the bottom now for this one you want to reel and lift your rod up at the same time but you don't want to do it for too long you just want to do it like every second so what you want to do is press both your reel and the lifting up button at the same time and then let go keep on doing that until you get the action that says lift and drop now this one is not my favorite one because it takes quite long but like i say it all depends on what type of lure you are using and what type of bass fishing you prefer. Now, another method that is quite effective that I tend to use a lot, obviously, depending what lures you are using, this one works well with spinnerbait as well and crankbait as uh, well. So, what you want to do is you want to just basically keep your reel on speed one and yeah just keep on holding the reeling button don't do any action with your rod just hold it and you will see on the top right hand side of your screen is going to be showing that you are doing the straight and slow method this one is pretty simple and yeah it's quite easy for any beginner to do now the next retrieval method we have on our list for bass fishing is called the stop and go this one is self-explanatory so yeah this one you can have your reel on speed too if you want but yeah, that is all per, uh, personal preference. I basically like to leave it on speed one. So what you want to do is, like I say, don't touch your rod. Just use your reel. You want to hold in your reel button for like three seconds. Let go three seconds and let go. And you will see that you will have the stop and go method on the top right of the screen. This one is good for crankbaits as well, depending what you're using, like I say. But yeah, this method is quite easy. Now, there is another method that is not very popular, but it only applies when you are using a certain lure. And this one is called popping. So basically, when you are using uh, lures that pop on the water, basically like top water lures, it will say a popper or a walker or something like that. And yeah, so this one is similar to how you do twitching. So basically, you want to use a twitching method for this one and it will show you the action on the top right hand side. So when you have a walker lure also, you just basically do the same method and it will say walking. If you have a popper lure, it will say popping on the top right hand side. So yeah, basically that's it. These are the most common ones that I used that uh, I see in Fishing Planet. Obviously, there is other ones that are a bit more difficult. But like I say, you want to make things easy for yourself because you're a beginner. And yeah, you want to be able to catch those big bass. So, any guys and girls, if this helped you out, let me know down in the comment section below. I will be releasing more tutorials like this for bass fishing, especially for carp fishing, which is coming soon. So, any guys and girls, that's it for me. Remember to like, button, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next Fishing Planet video. Peace.